Alrighty, what is up guys? It's Risky here. Welcome back to some more SnowRunner. I know it's been some time since I've made a video on this, but the game has been updated a little bit. They've changed some things. They got rid of my level 30, but hey, I'm not really complaining. I still got my money though, so that's cool. And today we're going to be checking out this Toyota Land Cruiser 105 mod. I think it looks pretty awesome. I'm a huge fan of Toyotas in real life, and we're going to go drive around in this thing, and I'll tell you about uh, the Toyota that I actually own in real life. I, I own a pretty cool Toyota. I'll even put a picture up on the screen here in a bit, but first, let's show you how much this thing costs. We are actually in a normal map. We're not in a little test map. Uh, this is the Toyota. A nice picture here for it. All right, it's $50,600. It's a scout vehicle, and today we're going to be putting it to the test and seeing what kind of custom customization we got. Unfortunately, this is the only skin for it or, um, you know, paint job or whatever, but it doesn't look that bad. We can uh, work with that. So we got a 1HZ. We got a all right, a 2UZFE. We got a 1HC and then a whatever that is. So I don't really know. I think we'll go with this one because it seems like everything there is all right. So let me use my controller actually just to make it a little bit easier. Gearbox. Um, yeah, I guess we'll just go with the upgraded one. Suspension is already raised. Tires. These are, these are the stock ones. They're a little skinny. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of that. I want them to be a little bit fatter. Um, I don't know if we'll go with these ones or the BF Goodrich. I think we'll go with the BF Goodrich. Uh, I like how they look a little bit more meaty. They got a nice sidewall on them. Uh, we don't have any of this. I guess we'll just leave it stock. Probably won't really be needing that too much. We're not going to run a spare. Frame add-ons. Oh, that's just stuff in the back? Yeah, we'll go with that, I guess. You can't really see it. Uh, snorkel for sure, because we wanna, we're going to be putting this thing to the test. I want to do some crawling if we can. I want to do some mudding. And man, that looks mean from the front. Ooh, I can't wait to get some fatter tires on my truck in real life, because oh, that'll look so good. I'll show you guys mine in a bit, like I said. Miscellaneous right here. Um, we got this bumper, this one. Uh, that puts a little uh, smelly scent tree thing inside there. It looks animated too, has a nice little physic. That's a little uh, skid plate. And I think I'll go with this one. I like the look at that one. Rear bumper, eh, we'll leave the same. Rooftop, got a roof rack. Yeah, we'll do that, that looks cool. And then we can also put this custom front bumper on it. You know what? I think, but that gets rid of the roof rack though. Now we'll stick with that. I like how that is. And then you have to keep those rims and then there's no paint job. Okay, well, we're already done. Let's go ahead and leave the garage. The mouse would go away. That'd be cool. There we go. Oh, it's not going to go away. All right, maybe I can put you up here in the corner. That way we don't have to stare at you the entire time. Here it is. This thing looks really, really cool. Very good looking mod. Let's check out the interior. Wow, not bad, honestly. Pretty, pretty well done. Nice toy of the steering wheel. I think the gauges should work. Most of these mods of the gauges do work. Um, you know, nice interior. Looks pretty good in here. I really, I really like that. So let's fire this thing up. Nice. Give it a good look here. You know, it's four wheel drive, obviously. I don't think it has diff lock. Uh, I think we, no, I don't think we could have put diff lock on it. Or no, it looks like it's yellow. So that means it's on always, I think. I think, I'm not too sure. Uh, but we do have the all-wheel drive option, obviously. And then nice straight axle in the front, or solid axle, whichever you want to call it. So this should be a beast of a scout vehicle for us to get out here and try out today. So let's just put it in gear, or it's already in gear. It's an automatic. Man, let's just cruise along here. Pretty quiet. You know, it sounds, sounds about how a Toyota would sound, honestly, if it had a normal exhaust on it. Mine, in real life, it's straight-piped, and it's, yeah, it's a little bit loud. Straight-piped 22RE4 banger. It's, uh, it sounds really good, though. But let's get out here and let's do some off-road. And we're not going to go that way. Now, let's actually take a look at the suspension travel while we're on this, like, bumpiness. Check that out. Not bad. You can actually see all the animation of all the, you know, the links and everything in there. The springs. The mud flaps actually go back and forth. Check out. You can see the, the smelly tree thing in there is actually bouncing around. The antenna on top's bouncing around. That's really, really cool. That's, that's really good attention to detail for sure. Whoa! Holy crap, do you see this thing just fly like that? That was insane. Let's just stick it automatic for now, because that thing just took off. Gotta be real careful over these trees. These things will tear you up in any truck. Maybe not the big ones, but in like a scout vehicle like this, they will absolutely ruin your suspension. But I want to try and put it back up in high. Oh, not, okay, yeah, not do that. Jeez, high gear in this thing is insane. Let's be a little bit more careful. I don't want to completely destroy the thing before we get out on any trails. So we'll just run it on the road here for a second. And at the end of this road, we should be able to get over to a pretty nice little mud section. We'll see how good this thing does through the mud. Uh, it should do okay in like low gear. But on the way over there, I guess I'll show you guys a picture of my truck. 
I actually have a Toyota. It's a 1995 Toyota pickup. That thing's been through absolute hell. It's been through many transformations. It's been a mud, uh, not a mud truck, but a hunting truck up on like 35 inch tractor tires. It's had normal bed on it. It had little street tires, big ass super swampers. It's been through hell. It's snorkeled. It's like a hidden snorkel. It's under the hood. I think it, it's been through a lot of stuff. I think it's got 205,000 miles on it. I can't really remember exactly, but it's a beast of a truck. It's got the 22 RE engine in it and it, it, it'll never let you down. That's one of the toughest trucks and engines ever made out there. As long as you take care of it, keep oil in it, it'll last you forever. Absolutely love Toyotas. Really good trucks. Anyone that hates on Toyotas has probably never owned one or they've only been around like really shitty ones that haven't been taken care of. But we made it here to the mud. Let's keep it in automatic, I guess. And we'll see how far we can go without having to throw it in all wheel drive. We'll see if we get stuck really fast. I, I don't really, I, I feel like you will get stuck uh, because this is pretty, pretty thick mud. Um, it's, it's tough here. I even get stuck in the big, big trucks, but it's still going in real wheel drive. I mean, it's pulling a little bit. I mean, it, it'll make it. Definitely up here is where it starts to get a lot more, a lot deeper. Sticking in high, maybe that'll help. I don't know. That'll probably, that'll probably ruin it because high gear is freaking insane in this truck. Maybe low plus or whatever, low high, whatever you want to call it. Let's go through these thick ruts that I made earlier in a big truck. Okay, yeah, we're starting to, we're starting to sink down a little bit there. Maybe if we just let off. I kind of want to test it in all-wheel drive. I want to see exactly how capable it is. Maybe high. I don't think high is really going to be the good option. Yeah, see, so, you know, we'll just keep it in while we had it there. We'll try and go through these ruts, these really big ruts of the big truck. See how well it'll do here. And it's going. It's not going through it super fast, but it's making it. Oh, it slowed down a little bit. Try and bump it down into low, maybe low, low. Yeah, it's not even really moving there. Let's see if we can back it up and get it out of here without having to use the winch. I think if we would have chose a little bit better path, minus going through a monster ass rut from a big giant truck that I took through here earlier, uh, I think we probably could have made it through a lot better. So what I'm going to do is, oh, it looks like we don't have any winch points right here. Okay. Well, we're still making it. I'm just going to hold it in reverse and, you know, we'll get out eventually. Okay. It looks like we're not really going anywhere. <laughs> it looks like we're kind of high centered too, right there on like the, the, the rocker panel or whatever. It doesn't really, I mean, we're moving, but very, very slowly. And I can't really winch anywhere around here. Uh, maybe we can right there. Now we're just out of range for everything. So the mud, not the best through the mud. I think it's just not quite powerful enough, not quite high enough off the ground. Doesn't have it. Doesn't have enough uh, clearance. If it had a little bit more clearance and a little bit bigger tires, then I think it could definitely be better. I mean, given we did go through a monster rut from another truck, if I could have chose a little bit better path, like to the right of us here, it probably could have, you know, done the job if I would have been driving a little bit better. But I think what we're gonna do now is just restore it or recover it, and we'll go to another spot and give this thing a little bit of a different test somewhere else. All right, we're gonna head down this trail here, and we'll do a little bit of off-roading through the trail, obviously. And we'll just throw it in high. Eh, I just like automatic for the cruising. For all, after all, it is a Land Cruiser or a Forerunner. Oh God, the front end is a little banged up. Do we have repairs? I think we do. No, we're oh, that's the wrong one. Oh, wrong one again. Repair. Yeah, we do have that. Okay, we'll just do that. Yep. Eh, that didn't do anything, did it? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah, we're good. It just still has the cosmetic looks to it. Okay, we're not really far to where I want to go. Right up here is where I, I want to be which is that big water hole over that way. And I want to test out the snorkel and see how good this thing is going to do through the water. See if we can go over these rocks a little bit, see how that'll do. This hand does it like a champ, just bounces right on over them. Okay, which one do we want to go through? I think we're going to go through, we're going to follow the road a little bit farther until we get to that big old section of water over that way. Handles the mud, like the, the you know the not really deep mud very good it handles these rocks pretty nicely as long as you aren't going over them super fast you won't take any damage but it just cruises right over them you can see we're just cruising through the mud here it's acting like it's really not even there it's a good truck like if you want to use this as a scout vehicle i recommend it it's really not so bad so far and it's pretty good on gas it seems it's got a 25 gallon tank but this is the big test i don't really know exactly how deep it gets up there i can still kind of see the bottom from here 
So I guess what we're going to do is just stick it in low high or low plus, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, it looks like we're, we're going to try and go through here. So you can see how high the water is now. I'm sure if we didn't have the snorkel, we would already be getting like water damage. So, you know, the snorkel is doing its job. And uh, let's see if we can bump down a gear. Maybe we can crawl through here a little bit more. If you spin those tires too fast, you're not going to gain any traction, especially when you're going through the sloppy, muddy lake bottom like that. Oh, and there you go. Dangerous water level. It's getting there. The snorkel is still doing its job. Let's see if it'll level out. Okay. Well, you can see the snorkel's doing its job. The engine is completely submerged. The exhaust pipe is back there bubbling up, and the snorkel's barely hanging out, and the, the truck's still running, not taking any damage at all. So it's doing its job. That's that's really good. That's what I really wanted to test, and that's just a little bit too deep there to cross. Uh, you know what? Let's just go through it and just see how far we can make it. Maybe it does level out. Oh, it does. It's a submarine. This ain't no damn to Toyota. This is a submarine, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just see how far we can make it without it, just, without it destroying itself. I hope it kind of... Uh, the water level goes up. It doesn't, though, at all. So, we're stuck. It's a submarine, though. The snorkel did its job. That's all I was really worried about. That's really cool. All right, I don't really know too many, like, really good climbing sections on any of these maps. I just really haven't done any hill climbing, so I don't really know. But this looks like a pretty good spot to give it a little test. I'm sure this thing isn't amazing at climbing, uh, just because it doesn't really have that much clearance. You know, I don't, I don't know. It might be. As right now, it's climbing this hill pretty good. It's not a huge incline, but it's it's working it. We're going to go try another spot. I'll find a little bit more of a incline. It's just cruising right up there like nothing ever happened. Maybe we can go up this little bit right here. We can do some little, little wheeling, and let's bump it down into, like, low, low. Is this thing really going to do this right now? It is. Holy crap. Let's just, let's just keep it easy. Just keep trying it. Keep trying to uh, turn those wheels a little bit. Find the traction. It'll find it. I know it will. It wants to. I can tell it's trying. Uh, come on, Toyota. I know you can do it. It wants to. Oh, just got to get that back tire up. Come on. Well, it doesn't seem like it's really working. I sat there for a few more minutes and tried to do it. Really cool mod. Thanks to the mod creator for creating this. Really cool. Please make more Toyotas. If you make a Toyota pickup truck, that'd be awesome. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.